Mm. What's up, girl? Mm. You like that? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the show. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> it's Juan. And this is Alfredo. And, and this we, is Juan. to talk, talk about, about it. it. Today, we're, where we talk about whatever we want, whenever we want. And it, it's our opinion only and our opinion only. <laughs> <laughs> I say that, say that because people but, don't think it's our opinion only. And... We're not here to change your mind or anything. We're just saying what we think. Nobody's paying us to say what we got to say. This is just our side and our perspective on certain topics that are currently going on in our country. And we are entitled to it, just like y'all are too. So if you guys disagree with us on something, feel free to express your comments in the comment section below. (laughs) All right. So today we're talking about the most expensive foods. What? Yeah. So... We're gonna start off with number one. I put the pictures up if you want to guys want to see it, but I'll I'll let, I'll explain what it looks like to you guys who are not watching, all right, or just listening. This first one is called the Fortress Stilt Fisherman Indulgence. Okay, sounds complicated. The Fortress Stilt Fisherman Indulgence is the most expensive food in the world till 2021. Wow. Uh, if someone prefers to eat nearly. 15000 rather than put it towards retirement or paying off debt, then this dish is extravagant, extravagant dessert for you. 15000 US dollars? 14500 They rounded it up. How much is the tip it's on that? It's made of pomegranate and mango. That's it? It looks like it's not even worth that much money. It has like, I believe what honey on the side it looks like a tres leches cake that's whack Oof. and it's not even a big enough piece so i'm gonna put it here on the screen right now and i'm gonna show it to alfredo what do you think bro would you pay fifteen thousand dollars for that no no not even to try it no not even if you had the money for it dude that's half of my year's wage right there man bro i can buy a bigger cake than this at fiesta bro if I pay Walmart for bro. that dessert, I don't have light for the rest of the year. <laughs> for the rest of my life. Re- yeah, probably <laughs> so. <laughs> no, take my take my car, man. 20% of $15,000. Man, man, what do you tip the waiter that you order that from, dude? Luis XIII. I don't know how much. <laughs> the 13th, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the 13th. Louis the 13th. Luis X I I I, okay? Uh-huh. Pizza is one of the most expensive food items you can order if you are filthy rich. So you can splurge on the Luis 13 pizza. It will be made in your home by one of Italy's most master pizza chefs of Bernardo Viola. This thing is worth $12,000. Oh my god. It looks good, but I'm not paying 12 grand for it, dude. It looks like freaking somebody just got a freaking pizza crust and threw some cream cheese on it and threw some sushi on it, bro. Golly. Like, I put it on the screen and then I straw, no, calamari. Have you ever tried calamari? I have. Is it good? Yeah, Papa Dose. Yeah, I like it. I like all kinds of food. I've never had calamari. I don't think it's good. This pizza is nothing but or, but ordinary with, what the heck did I say? Sophisticated toppings. Where? <laughs> Let me see what, what that is. <laughs> Sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> that, that word was too. So today's word of the day, everybody, is sophisticated. Your boy. <laughs> it may hey, look I, a little funny. I didn't graduate. <laughs> oh man, that was good. That was so so. Hey, fit, bro. So, sophisticated. So, <laughs> what is that word? Like that word, sophisticated. Woo! Sophisticated topic <laughs> was really the the buffalo. Lobster and caviar all fl- all flown in from all different parts of the world to the top. To top Damn. it off, the feast of this pizza is served with Remy Martin Cognac Luis. Cognac. <laughs> hey, bro. One, you high? Hey, man. And Champagne Club Close du Mazil. 1995, <laughs> man. <laughs> Today we learned if the food... It's hard to even pronounce. <laughs> Stay away from it, people. It's probably too expensive. They will, and your boy can't read. <laughs> no, he can't. <laughs> we will get through this together, bro. All right, number three, Floor Burger, 5000 Oh, my God. All right. You are not going to find beef patties that live to the cal- caliber <laughs> there you go. of Chef Hobert, Hubert Keller. Well, he had a last name. I thought that was his last name. Chef 
Hubert Keller at your neighborhood burger chain. There is no question that Keller has spiced up this burger with unique additions. Keller's few Keller's Fleur Fleur <laughs> I guess that's Fleur's restaurant is situated inside the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. The Vegas. Most, the most expensive meat is used to flo- uh, flavor this burger. The Wang Yu beef cost about 100 per pound. Oh my god. That's more expensive than fajita marinada. They sell it at Costco, bro. But not they the do? good kind. They sell Eesh. the lower graded one. That thing's expensive. Also adding truffles with 1500 per pound. This meal also comes with bottle of 1995 Chitua Patrus <laughs> valued at 2500 Oh my god. How much do you think that's bear cost, bro? Well, you said 5000 Hmm. So you're buying pretty much the meat and that drink. Yeah. That is crazy. And the truffles, too, because truffles are expensive. This burger is 5K. Screw that. That meat better be the most delicious meat I'll ever have in my life. That meat better turn a vegan back into a non-vegan <laughs> if I'm going to pay that much. Okay, what if you hit the lottery, man? I ain't buying that burger. Some people go broke because they spend their money. What if you're a billionaire? Maybe I'll buy that. <laughs> be like, I'll take two. <laughs> Dude, 5K to a billion doesn't even make a dent in it. Oh, man. Golly. All right. That was number three, right? Mm-hmm. That burger looked pretty good. I ain't going to lie. It did. If it was cheaper, I'd buy it. Jeez. Maybe if it was like 10 bucks. I'll, I'll give them 15. Because what, what's the best burger place you've been to? Ooh, that's that's up for debate, too. Here in Texas. That Man, you've been to me person chain just a chain wise. Uh, I like chain Waterburger. or your own hole in the wall. I like Waterburger and I also like uh, Burger King. Uh, here off of Hampton, we uh-huh. have one that's called Country Burger. They also have very good burgers too. Dude, I need to take you to this burger place next time. Where? By my house. Where? It's called JG's Old Fashioned Burgers, bro. Okay. This mofo's are good. Bro. Hey, maybe we could uh, do a little clip of a video right there, show you guys what the burger looks like next time. Yes. All right. So next one is a 24K gold pizza. Wow. The is that price? literal gold? Yes. Gold flakes. Will that harm you inside? No. Okay. When you when you, so you just when it comes out, it, you're, you just it's have very gold, sparkly bro. poop. Yeah. You can wow. save it for later, bro. Sell it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather take it up at the top and then pick it at. Okay. <laughs> 24K gold pizza at Industry Kitchen located in New York South Street. Singapore neighborhood is one of the most expensive meals. This pizza requires two day advance order and is truly for the upper crust. Ha, pun. The pizza was Stilton Cheese Platinum Austria Caviar. I don't even know what the heck that is. These words are too complicated fish for eggs. my little Mexican. Sorry. Caviar is fish eggs. Foy grass truffles at 24K gold leaves to top it off. Wow. How much do you think this is worth? I'm going to say seven grand. No, 2000 I'm pretty sure the pizza is very small. Probably so. But wow. I would not pay 2000 No. Why is caviar so expensive if it's not even that good? I think the certain parts of the world that it comes from and a certain fish that it comes from, too. I think I've had, like, a little bit, and I did not like it. Uh, it's too expensive for me. I wouldn't even know. Well, I don't know. I don't think I've ever even seen caviar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm poor. I asked you if you ate that, or did I say something else? You said, yeah, I did it all the time. No. Earlier. If I did caviar all the time, I would not be living what here. What did I ask you earlier? I said, did you have this before? And you said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, oh, rewind man. that clip. Let's see what I say. We, yeah, we, we are I could have been to. totally wrong or right. I don't know. Like, straw? No, calamari? Have you ever tried calamari? I have. Is it good? Yeah, Papa does. Yeah, I like it. I like all kinds of food. I've never had calamari. All right. The zillion dollar lobster said wagyu. frittata. Did I say wagyu? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then the zillion dollar lobster frittata. The zillion dollar lobster frittata is still one of the most expensive food items in the world. It may look out of place on the menu for norm- Normas in New York as Normas, like the Normas we have. I doubt Normas it. isn't an extremely expensive restaurant. Most menu items are below $30 range, 10 ounces of so. Caviar is included by two thousand um two thousand dollar omelets, which is a big factor in the price. Dude, look at this man. It doesn't even look good. Notice that all of these are like freaking ha- small. Yeah, they're like 
like a freaking McDonald's cheeseburger size. You're paying the all that money for this, the visual, the wow factor. Yeah. You know, the gold. Does it gold even have any Flavor? benefits going in your body? How much do you think this cost, bro? That right there, I don't know, three thousand? Close. Two thousand dollars. Yeah. Did you notice how all of these have caviar on them? Caviar is expensive. But just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's gonna be good on everything. I haven't tried it, so I don't know. I like to eat. <laughs> so if one of y'all wants to buy that for me, I will gladly accept your offer. The golden Apollon Sunday. You heard about this one? No. Okay, give me a second. They don't have none of those. If you are curious about what a four figure dessert tastes like, head to Serendipity Three in New York. Sorry, New Yorkers, man. I know I'm ruining all these names, bros. In this desert, Tahitian vanilla ice cream made with Madagascar vanilla bean is covered in 24K gold leaves. Specialty chocolates, Parisian, Canadian fruits, truffles, caviar, and more. A sundae of this magnitude is not served in a simple glass, but rather a Baccarat crystal (laughs) bowl. I said that, Rod? Tortured that, man. (laughs) That you can take home as a souvenir. It should be pre-ordered at least 48 hours in advance for an ice cream sundae. Look at this. But what if 48 hours pass and I don't want it then? Um, It ain't. Look at that. It looks pretty. Would you pay for that, guys? Let me know down below. I wouldn't pay for that. No. I'd rather go to my local Brahms. Man, there's a hey, Brahms down a, the street, dude. Give, give me, me a, a double scoop. Sunday. Double scoop chocolate chip with vanilla. I always that's what I was every time I go to to Brahms, bro. Vanilla, chocolate chip on a cone, bro. Brownie fudge Sunday. I've never had Can't a Sunday. Oh man. Oh my god. They're so good. So good. Kobe Strawberry beef and Sunday. main lobster burger, bro. Lobster Have inside a burger? Beef? No. Can't afford it. Really? Damn, bro. Kobe <laughs> beef? Is hey, isn't that the one from Japan? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we can't afford nothing, though. Man, what we, do you eat, bro? We poor. <laughs> oh, we want to have fun, too. We want to eat stuff that's expensive, too. The Paris Las Vegas Resort Restaurant Burger Bra- Brazi Server. Braziri. I'm not even going to try it. Server this burger with... <laughs> Serves this burger with seared of foy grass, pancita, goat cheese, argu, arg, arugula, arugula? I don't know. <laughs> Main lobster and a hundred year old ba- <laughs> balsamic paired with a BLT salad. A hundred year old what? Balsamic paired? Like, does that mean that that product has been sitting around for a hundred years? Apparently, this meal comes with a bottle of Rose Dom Paragon Champagne. With a Kobe beef patty designed with goat cheese, a regular pancake main, lobster, and many other toppings. This burger is heavily, again, it contains balsamic vinegar. Okay. That is 100 years old, so it's vinegar. This might be the secret of this burger. However, the overall server of this burger is worth the price and worth having a bite. So you're buying history is what you're doing. $777. So what do you do when the vinegar runs out? I don't know. Whoever even thought about aging vinegar for 100 years? True. They do it with alcohol all the time. Why? Does it even taste? The older it is, is it, is it, it better? It, uh, it does take. Like tequila, you got uh, the blanco, reposado, and añejo. And they do taste different. Ultraviolet's Pricks Fix Menu. This doesn't even look appetizing. Uh, people like a multi-sensory dining experience. French of chef Paul Pariet designed the concept which dazzles more than one taste bud. This 20-course meal comes with a theme music for every course and light show. All guests are served the same food at the table and at the same time. I guess it's a 20-course, but this, here's a little snippet of 20 it. 20 course? He said. Oh, my God. That, those portions must be like this. Man, I've heard of three course meals, 20 courses. The other thing must be super small, man. Yeah, At least it comes with the light show, bro. You can tell that ain't in Texas. $872. Will mm. you pay for that? No. No, absolutely not. None of these. Masa dinner menu. <clears throat> oh, hold on, I'm choking. Through the menu changes, regularly expect to be served with only the finest Japanese cuisine. Carefully crafted by Chef Masayoshi. Takayama. I slaughtered that name. 
Probably. Dining at Temasa is a little different than ordering sushi as a midnight snack, but spicy tuna roll is one of the most popular late night takeout orders around the country. So it's basically sushi, bro. Okay. You like sushi? I love sushi. Sushi. Yes, I, I, I like cooked sushi. I like it raw. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you like it how you like it, bro. This is oh, worth yeah. 595 bucks for this one roll, bro. Now, do you think you'll change if uh, we ever hit the lottery one day, man, or if we just got no. crazy amounts of money? Okay. Some of these, you know, you're not curious about none of these expensive things? I'm the cheapskate, bro. I, I don't want to spend like... But then again, we've never lived that life. I don't know if I would spend $5,000 on a burger, bro. Man, if you're a billionaire, who cares? I'm a billionaire. That's a different story. But what if... Jeff Bezos but the portions are not there, man. How am I going to be spending $5,000? Man, I'd be the guy. Like, and I'm still going to be hungry when I'm done. I'd be the, the guy and I'd say, this is it. I'll take two. <laughs> but, sir, I'll take two. It takes 40 Do you know hours. how much this costs? You look poor. <laughs> yeah. You know what? They probably would. Hey, just because I'm Mexican doesn't mean I'm poor now. I was. Dude. I mean. Hey, that's part of growing up Mexican, man. We get discriminated on every day. All right. You read the other ones. All right. <laughs> Let me show you. So here's the name and then you can go down and be a little bit of ads or whatever. Skip the ads and there it is. All right. Gotcha. All righty. Number 10, we got restaurant guy Savoy Monai <laughs> prefix menu. Hey, bro, you're reading really better than me. Spectate was it? Or I'm pretty sure I'm slaughtering it too. <laughs> Location is Paris. And the this restaurant was built in 2015, overlooking the Louvre uh -huh. and Pont Neuf. We're going to go to the food. This price doesn't include drinks. Does not include Does not drinks. include drinks? No. Man, I better get some water. However, for the hundreds of dollars, people would enjoy duck, lobster, and artichoke soup with black truffles in addition to other delightful dishes. By eating at the restaurant, Guy Savoy Monae oh, will certainly fancy. make one's heart stop. It really didn't go into detail of it, but the plates are starting at 525 US dollars. Let me see that picture. Bro, not gonna fill us up. I ain't gonna pay for that. I'm not. I'm still gonna be hungry. I don't even know what the what that is. Me they didn't either. even explain it. Oh well. Next. Next. Number eleven. <clears throat> I'm about to mess it up. Kyoto Kicho. <laughs> yeah. Kyoto. <laughs> Arashiyama Prefixe menu. menu. And that one's located in Kyoto, Japan. Ooh. I want to go to Japan one day. I want to go to Japan too. I love At Asian people. Kyoto Kicho Arashiyama in Japan, there are several several menus to choose from, but the costliest option is 64,800 yen. Don't let that scare you. It's only 599 US dollars. Only? Only. Only. It says guaranteed you won't leave hungry as this meal is at least 10 courses and features rounds of sashimi, grilled and steamed food, rice, pickled vegetables and dessert to name a few. Wow. 500? Bro, you know how much it costs? 599. To get, get catering over here from Pollo Regio or something? Oh, yeah. That'd be like 100 bucks and I still get a lot more than that. Juan, you like chocolate pudding? Eh. Not well, really. Eh. This one's uh, located in Lindeth Howe Country House Hotel. Wait, let me see the picture of the other one. The one I skipped. Man, that don't even look good. There's more plate than there is food on there. Yeah. Yeah, there really is. <laughs> I'm not going to pay 500 bucks. Sorry, Kyoto. Ain't going to happen, bro. So this next one didn't go into... Uh, oh, yeah, it does. It does go into detail. It says, this is favorite dish. You... This is favorite dish. This favorite dish is now made in every home on occasion or non-occasions. Uh, you prefer no reason to delight your mind by having delicious chocolate pudding. It says, you will be amazed to hear that the chocolate pudding made at Lindeth how country house hotel in england has a separate fan base because it is high quality chocolate flavor and captivating topping the pudding has satisfied the immense appetite of the pudding love quite fairly and yes honestly the pudding is worth the high price you want to take a guess at it it's chocolate pudding from what it sounds chocolate like pudding. with gold leaf if i'm looking at the picture yeah the gold 24 karat gold mm. uh maybe 600 bucks Try thirty five thousand dollars. Thirty five thousand. Thirty five thousand U.S. dollars. Hell no! For some man. chocolate pudding. Never. Nope. 
Not this guy. You're going to catch me. I don't even like chocolate pudding like that. Dude, some of this stuff is ridiculous, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Me 10 years later. <laughs> I'll take two. <laughs> hey, man, I heard you hit the, hit the lottery. Hey, yeah. here's the video where you said it was ridiculous, man. Why are you eating this? You know. Uh, security, get that guy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. White truffle and gold pizza, number 13. And Where do you this, guys have gold on it? Why? I think it's the wow factor. People eat with their eyes more than they do their mouth nowadays. Shit, not me. They, they like, <laughs> ooh, that looks so good. Have you tried it? No? <laughs> Don't eat with your eyes. Taste it. Taste it, baby. It says white truffle and gold pizza with 24 karat gold on top of the crust. The pizza has earned enormous fame to be on the list of most expensive dishes. This pizza at Margot's and Malta isn't the normal pizza, as you can assume. The 24 karat gold was edible, and with it, the crust was decorated with buffalo mozzarella cheese. And now, who like doesn't mozzarella like cheese? cheese? Just cheese in general. Oh, my God. Eh. It is. By yeah. itself, I don't like it. It's good. The pizza was significantly famous for the extra decoration with the gold. You can, you can imagine the topping of the pizza, which is edible gold leaf was sprinkled, and every bite of the pizza would assure. It does not, it's not even saying what the pizza has on it. To me, that's suspicious. Show I want to know picture. what's in it. All right, bro. It has gold. It has Leaves. lettuce. And it has a tomato. Not even the big tomatoes. It has like the small tomatoes. And crust. That's all I see. All of that for 2400 bucks. <laughs> nah. nah. I'd rather go to Pizza Hut. <clears throat> Pizza Hut's the best one, bro. Here goes another one with gold leaf. God. It's all about the gold, bro. No wonder gold price is going are, up. I think these foods, these foods are just like... Hey, I can afford it and you can type of thing. So you're saying it's more of a status. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You're right. Yeah. Like, I could afford it you can't. Yeah. Peasant. <laughs> 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 Next one is Weston Hotel Bagel in New York City. So it is a bagel. Looking at the picture with, if I had to just describe it to you guys, bagel, cream cheese, gold leaf, and some truffles on the side looks like. Let me see. Let me see that. What the heck is a truffle? It's a fungus. Why do you need truffles? Apparently, they're good. I don't know. <laughs> Never tried. I, never had one. Dude, I can't afford it. No joke. They are thousands of dollars a pound. I think they're more expensive than marijuana per pound. Uh huh. And you know how they find them? Huh? Pigs. Pigs? They got good. <laughs> they got good noses. And the pigs so, eat it or what? No, they snip them out and then they dig them out. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Dude, truffles are expensive. Caviar is expensive. Gold leaf is a thing now. And it's it's either gold or caviar. That's what makes these things expensive. Man. And the 100-year-old vinegar. So it says the Western Hotel Bagel is the most expensive dish for the gold. It has white truffles, gold leaves, and a jelly of goji berry. Whatever goji, goji berry. berry is. I don't even know what goji berry is. What, what, do you th- what if they're just lying to us? Like, look, I bet y'all can come up with a stupid name. <laughs> it's we got it from like, Walmart. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Strawberry. Oh, it tastes amazing, Smuckers. <laughs> <laughs> the snozz no, berries taste like snozz berries. <laughs> nah, bro, it's not even Smuckers. It's a freaking Walmart brand. Man. It says the white truffles uh, cheesy cream is also a hell of an expensive food. However, the food was first served to raise a fund on scholarships of a specific sector that helps the needy students. How much is it, bro? Oh, a thousand dollars. Let me see it. Nah, man. Nope. That's just a regular bagel with cream cheese and the gold. And how much money are y'all really giving the needy children? Are y'all giving like a hundred bucks out of that thousand? That ain't fair. <laughs> or something that costs looks like three bucks to make. Yup. I don't know. <clears throat> Not buying it. I ain't buying it. Number I don't 15. even like bagels that much. Black Diamond Ice Cream, location Dubai. Ooh, that's expensive city. I couldn't even afford a plane there. Man, they leave, they leave freaking Lamborghinis in the middle of the freaking desert. Dude, they made their own island, that Palm Island. <laughs> These dudes made an island. Golly. It says, if you want to get the most expensive scoop of this time, grab the Black Diamond Ice Cream. The most striking part of the ice cream is that it has a topping of, guess. Truffles. No. Caviar. No. Dude, the most common thing, gold. Oh. <laughs> Dang. It has a gold sprinkles of 23 carat, and you can eat it. So you can eat gold. It, isn't it amazing? No. No. I don't want to eat gold. I want to wear it. Let's <laughs> see. It's 23 high-end ingredients along with a saffron, 
which is from Iran. Uh, who? The ice cream is basically met. It says I like how it says basically. The ice cream is basically Madagascar vanilla ice cream. What is the other part? Madagascar. It's basically vanilla, but the other is what? Madagascar. I guess. The toppings make it more special. It has black Italian truffle on it. It is served with a Versace. Oh, correction. It is served in a Versace bowl Ooh. and spoon. Interestingly, Ooh. the customers can take it with them. Versace, Versace. That's why they're buying the Versace spoon and plate. I didn't even know Versace made How much bowls is it, bro? and spoons. It is 800 US dollars. <sighs> it looks like a scoop. No like joke. I said, I would just. That's one scoop? It looks like man, they better give me ten scoops. I'm paying eight hundred bucks. You know how many scoops I can get at Brahms for eight hundred bucks? And all it is is basically Madagascar vanilla ice cream. Jesus, you paid eight hundred bucks for basically vanilla ice cream. This ice cream better change my world. It better be like cracking it because I'm not gonna want to stop eating it. Wow. Here goes another burger, number okay. sixteen. Does that have gold on it? This, <laughs> Not by the looks of it. <laughs> this one is the 777 burger. Ooh. Le Burger Brasier. Ooh. Location, Las Vegas. And it says, among all those burgers you have eaten all your life, will taste vague after just one bite of the 777 burger from Le Burger Brasier. Thus, it is considered as one of the most expensive food dishes in the world. After comparing many less priced burgers, the 777 burger totally stands in territory of a high roller once again it doesn't say anything about what's in it look at the picture guys i see pickles bun and olive bacon cheese Just but it's worth burger. the 777 dollars it says it's better the best burger out there what about the other burger we talked about that was five thousand sure mcdonald's says they got the best <laughs> burgers out there do we just take their word now for which it? one are you oh what if one day we're able to compare the two man that would be so awesome Hopefully we'd have a lot of viewers by then, right? Because we can't. I can't afford it right now. I can't afford it. I'm fucking broke, <laughs> dude. If I spend seven hundred and seventy, bro, the seven thing is, we ain't gonna be able to buy two of them. I mean, we're not so gonna be able seven. to buy one for each. We have to buy one for each of us. So, so it'll be fourteen hundred. Have to split it down the middle. Dang, that's like after tip and drinks. That's like I, I ain't tipping grand. nothing. That's two grand. I ain't tipping nothing. All I want oh is a my burger. God. But anyways, we couldn't afford. One for each. One of each for each of us. So we would have to buy one of each for both of us. So we'd have to cut it down the middle and try it. Yeah, we'll do it like that. We'll, like, <laughs> we'll, get, we'll take one, two spoons, please. Two Versace <laughs> spoons. Please. Please. This plate is mine, by the way. <laughs> I'm taking it with me. <laughs> no, number 17, 12-ounce Japanese Kobe steak. Man, I, I thought Las Kobe Vegas. Well, I was a basketball player. You know he has steaks, bro? I didn't. Uh, is it in relation to... To him no idea kobe steak it says steaks are currently very demanding steaks are currently very demanding food in the whole world huh it's pricey too i don't know a 13 year old must have wrote this or something something man kobe beef are famous items mainly in america and all over the world a particular part of beef is needed to make this steak it is made with special sauce <laughs> like mcdonald's special sauce <laughs> it's <laughs> a thousand that? islands that's the secret ingredient the whole time mcdonald's special sauce. right the serving system of the steak is definitely different from the normal steaks. Overall, the dish looks so appealing. Some American restaurants are famous for the dish. To taste it, you have to pay a minimum $350. To taste it? Once again, they or didn't to talk eat about it. The, the steak. Just to eat it. They start at 350 At that point, I think what matters is how big you want the steak. That's you too know. much, man. I get mad when I go to Texas Roll House and they say 12 ounce. Steak is expensive, like This dude. small. Steak, steak is expensive. Mm. There's some steakhouses I've been. It's like forty bucks, fifty bucks for a steak. Or eight ounce, right? Yeah, yeah, eight ounce, ten ounce. Donkey. Yeah. The bigger steak you get. Or have you heard of that uh, salt bay guy? Mm -hmm. He has a steak that is wrapped in gold leaf. It's a tomahawk steak. I think it's like a thousand dollars. You're eating a steak that's wrapped in gold. A thousand. We should go. I, I saw him here in Dallas the other day. Really? Or some people were in. I don't know if he came to Dallas, but they came. They went to go eat at his restaurant, but he was with them. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Is that all the? At foods? what point is too much? Too much. <laughs> is too much when that burger costs five thousand dollars? <laughs> Have they done research on how gold affects the body? <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't hurt the body. You probably don't. But still, 
Number, number 19, we got High Roller Sushi Roll. High, high Roller? Vegas. High Roller. Take a guess. I already said it. Where is it? Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm good, bro. Made you your are, mind. Man, you are good. <laughs> It says sushi is generally made with fusion of flavors, but the high roller one is made with a lot more flavors than e i i <laughs> did it. Somebody hit you? No, i <laughs> isual. They're trying to screw I me sure. up. Isual. What what is isual? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man. They, auto check, spell check before y'all post some of this stuff. It says, uh, seriously, it contains ingredients like lobster tail, gold leaf, asparagus, tuna, golden, ocetra, caviar, wagyu beef, truffle oil, and aguacate. Okay. All people may not like all the flavors together, but still. And then you put this on the, on the, on the review. They're not review, but the, the description. All people may not like all the flavors together. So wow. what is that telling you? It's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> it says, but it's still... This is still food for foodies. The single plate of sushi will cost you two hundred and fifty dollars. I think it's just a thing. Like I can afford it. Like I said earlier, it's enough. I can afford it thing, and you can't. Oh my goodness! Jeez, dude, the list goes on and on and on. Really? That's a hundred dollar hot dog. What the heck, dude? I'm good with Sonic. How long is the long, long, long list? I think that was the last yeah, one. Yeah, that was the last one. They said the list goes on and on. But well, still. Uh, well, well, yeah, but think of how many are not on the list. I see that. A $100 hot dog, bro. Think of how many, like, for example, like the uh, Tomahawk Gold Leaf Steak that Salt Bay has. $1,000. The Dragon Dog, bro. Yeah, cool it's name the most expensive, worth 100 bucks. Most expensive hot dog, the specialty of the item is that is soaked in Louis the 13th Cognac. Cognac. <laughs> Hey, man, they're spelling these things wrong. C-O-G-N-A-C, Cognac. The more expensive things get, the more messed up the words are. Man, when, I, when, I, when I'm famous, I'm going to put my shirt. I don't know. I'm going to make something. I'm going to name it Juanejo. The J is it's silent. It's not Juan. It's Juanejo. It's Juan. The J is silent. One bottle of this costs $2,000. Jesus Christ, this is full of spicy ingredients. The sausage is the main attraction of the foodies. Your sausage is made with Kobe beef, bro. You ever had Kobe beef? Never. Me either. Never heard about it. No, I have heard about it, but never tried it. Generally, you order a hot dog and get it within 30 to 60 minutes, but to grab the dragon dog, but to grab the dragon dog, you have to wait 12 hours. Why? So you have to order it 12 hours before you have this on your plate. Dude, if I order something, I want it now. Because I'm hungry now. Right. I'm going to have to order it when I'm full for the next day. Oh, my God. But, yeah, guys, this is the most expensive, most ridiculous. I probably wouldn't even try it because I'm broke. I think it's more we can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I wouldn't try it. Nah, I, I can afford it. I mean, I can't. Well, maybe if I get in the stimulus. <laughs> maybe. But, nah, man, we can't afford that. But I, no, I can't I, even pay my bills with all the <laughs> stimulus money I got. I got that much debt. I don't know if I could pay $5,000 for a burger, man. Maybe if I was a billionaire, maybe. But other than that, I don't know. I probably should support my JG Our old fashioned burger. La Michoacana <laughs> for the carne. <laughs> nah, man. You got to get that Kobe stuff. I fajita. don't even know where they sell it. Me either, bro. Get that's, that fajita, that's how you bro. know we're poor. We, we should try one of these things at least once, one day. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I'm down. We'll try I'm it. Down. And we'll do a review with you guys. Yeah, we'll do it together, man. Is It'll it be worth fun. all the hype? Is it? Or nah? That's when we get money, though. <laughs> we broke. Yeah, we broke. All right, guys. Let us know what you guys think. Have you ever tried one of these? Yeah, yes or no? Would you ever try one of these? Yes or no? Let us know down in the description, in the comments below. Why do you always say description? Dude, we are messing up today. Yeah, it's all good, though. It's all good. All right, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe and hit that thumbs up button to help brothers out. Smash that like button. Smash it. Beat it. Dulces.